Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we go ahead and build a BMP-2M. The BMP-2 is an amphibious infantry fighting vehicle introduced in the 1980s in the Soviet Union following on from the BMP-1 of the 1960s. The version we have in front of us is the BMP-2M, which is a modernized version from the KPB. This version has the B05YA01 Brizok turret equipped with a 2A4 uh, 2 30mm autocannon, a PRKMT 7.62mm uh, coaxial machine gun, a AS30 grenade launcher, and two plus two launchers for ATGM 9M133M Cornet M's, and a new day uh, slash night sights. Um, hole is fitted with the armored side skirts and slat cage armor. There is an approved UTD-23 diesel engine uh, coupled with an automatic transmission. Suspension is also improved and this upgrade was selected by Algeria and Russia will upgrade several hundred of its vehicles. So this here is uh, the kind of upgraded, I guess the peak BMP-2. Um, it's a pretty interesting vehicle here and really armed to the teeth when you start to actually boil it down and take a good look at it. Um, obviously, you can go ahead and you know modify this to be more the standard BMP-2 without having the launchers on the side and also that um, grenade launcher up on top. But uh, it's a pretty cool build and should be a fun build to add to your uh, Russian lineups as it's a very modern vehicle and one that has seen a lot of widespread use right now. Um, with that though, let's go and dive in here and taking a quick look at the build. So starting off with, we have the front of the build here, nothing too fancy, just the driver's view ports and hatches like that above the crew compartment right here we then have the turret itself as you can see this one here has the launchers on the sides of the turret which is one of the key components of uh, this ver upgraded version of the BMP-2M which is the Berizok um, which has that different turret we then have the uh, main gun here that 30 millimeter gun and the coaxial 7.62 mach uh, machine gun uh, up here is where the grenade launcher would be located, and then we have the back of the vehicle here. Uh, really nothing too fancy going on with it, just pretty pretty simplistic, pretty standard. Um, just kind of back there for it, but really nice looking build, and again, should be a really nice one to build since it is a very uh, prominent vehicle being used uh, by Russia at this time. With that though, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. We get number one. Alrighty guys, so moving into our first layer here, we're going to be going ahead and start with layer one. For layer one of the build, we're going to place down another brick up sound stair like so, and then two polished black stone stairs back to back from one another. We're going to place down another black concrete block, another two polished black stone stairs back to back, another black concrete block, and again, two more polished black stone stairs back to back, and then one more black concrete block blocked around off the back there. We're going to place down an Arabic slab and an Arabic top slab coming off like that to go ahead and finish off the back there. We then want to take our dark prismarine uh, slabs, and actually first before we do that, we'll grab some dark oak wood trapdoors, and we're going to place down a row of four of dark oak wood trapdoors coming off that front nether brick stair. Behind that, we're going to place down a row of four of dark prismarine top slabs, and we're going to go ahead and keep placing down rows of four of these top slabs all the way until we get to our last nether brick slab there on the very back of the tracks. So again, just going to keep filling this in like that and we get to the back there like so and then we're going to go ahead and go to the side here and we're going to do the same track layout that we did on the other side so again i'm not going to explain this in great detail as it's the same on both sides here so just like that and we have our track set up here now to go ahead and kind of spice these tracks up i went ahead and used a combination of banner designs to actually go ahead and make these now the first banner we have here is a green banner it has a black border and a black horizontal line across this or through the center of the banner should look like that and that's going to go on your black concrete blocks so you're just going to place it on each one of these black concrete blocks and you'll be good to go for that your next uh, banners are going to be two that you need to make these here are um, basically black banners that I went ahead and I did a green line going vertically on the right side of one banner and a green line going vertically on the left side of another banner after that I went ahead and then took black and I went ahead and did a straight line that goes right through um, the center of both banners to go ahead and create this design here. This banner will go on the side of these narrow brick stairs, or polished blackstone stairs, 
with the green portion facing toward each other and this here just kind of helps get that accurate wheel spacing between the wheels and just kind of helps um, improve the overall look there of it. So that is what it should look like from the side there and once you have that all complete that is going to wrap up everything we have there for uh, layer number one of the build and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number two. Moving into our next layer we have layer number two. For layer two to start with you're going to make your green terracotta and we're going to place down a row of six across the front here of the vehicle. We then want to place down a row of six of the upside down um, prismarine stairs. And then we're going to place down an item frame on the stair from second from the side there. And we're going to place down a trip bar hook in the item frame and rotate it so it points straight downwards like so. After that we're going to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down a second row of six across. And we're going to place down ladders on both sides of those rows of six. After that we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of four green terracotta. Then a second, third, three, or four five, six, seven, eight, and nine rows of four going down the center here. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dark prismarine slabs. And over here, one, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dark prismarine slabs. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six green terracotta blocks across the space here. A item frame on both sides, and in that item frame, we're going to place down a green stained glass pane. If you're on Java, we can also place down a dark oak wood button on the side of this green terracotta block, so it will look something like that there. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood trap door coming off the green terracotta blocks on both sides, and then a row of four of green stained glass panes across in between those trap doors. We're also going to place down an item frame on these two glass panes, and then we're going to place down a trip bar hook in the item frames and rotate them so that they stick out to the sides there, like that. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up that. And the last thing we need to do here is just place a dark oak wood sign on the side of this prismarine slab. After that's all complete though, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number two. And with that, we'll be moving on to layer number three. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of four of dark oak wood trapdoors across the space here. And then we want to place down a row of four daylight detectors right behind that. After that, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood trapdoor to both sides and then coming off those trap doors we're going to place down an item frame and with that we're going to place down a snowball in the item frames. If you're on Java we're also going to place down a dark oak wood sign on top of the stair here and open that fence gate toward the item frame. Unfortunately if you are not on Java you will not be able to place down an item frame and, and a fence gate in the same block space so I would recommend probably just placing down the item frame. After that we're going to place down a row of four of dark prismarine slabs and then a daylight detector to the sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some end portal frames. We're going to place down a row of four across the space here, and then we want to place down a dark prismarine slab to the sides. Once we get to this point, we're going to take our green um, shulker boxes, and we're going to place down a row of two in the middle, and a green terracotta block to the sides, followed by a dark prismarine stair to both sides of that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block here, and then a second block back from it. We're going to take our deep slate tile blocks and we're going to place down one and two here and then one and two here. So you have a two by two square there and then over here on this side we're going to place down two more green terracotta blocks in this space and actually this first block here is going to be a green shulker box so it should look like this from the top down view. Taking our uh, stairs we're going to place down two stairs back on both sides. On this right side here we're going to place down two signs coming off these uh, stairs like that. We then want to place down a row of four of green terracotta across, followed by a prismarine stair to both sides. We're going to go and then place down a, another row of four across, then a third, a fourth, and a fifth. So you have five, more, five rows of four down the center here. Taking our green stained glass panes, we're going to place down one, two, three on the side here, and one, two, three. And then we want to take our daylight detectors and place down one, two, and one, two on the sides. On the back here, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks in the center, and then we're going to place down a dark prismarine stair to both sides, like this. And then coming off this stair, we're going to place down another stair, like this, so you have a corner stair and then a normal stair. And then behind these stairs here, we're going to place down a, another dark prismarine stair, so it looks like this across the back. We then want to place down item frames on these two stairs, and then we're going to place down blank beds in the item frames and rotate them sideways like that. Then we're just taking a dark oak wood sign and we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side here of these stairs to go ahead and create those um, viewports there on the back. Again, the signs will be added if you're on Java. 
Um, after that's all complete though, that's going to wrap up everything we have for layer number three of the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to start with, we're going to go and place down two prismarine stairs right here. And then we want to go ahead and place down a dark oaked fence gate to the right side stair. And then coming off of it, we're going to place down one and two end rods. Oh, sorry, three end rods going forward. We're then going to go ahead and place down a lightning rod that's going to come off this end rod like that for the tip of the gun. After that is done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a chain, and we just want to place down a chain here coming off this stair like so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak trap door on top of this green terracotta block, and we are going to go ahead and take flower pots and place down two flower pots here on top of those blocks, and a flower pot on top of this shulker box here directly behind it. We also want to go ahead and take our dark oak fence gates into both sides of these stairs. We're going to place down fence gates like that opened up toward the stairs like so. We're going to place down two item frames on top of these two stairs with signs right across from our vents. And we're going to place down iron bars in those item frames like that. We're also going to place down an item frame here on this green terracotta block with a green terracotta block in the item frame. Going back from this, we want to place down a row of two of green terracotta. And then we're going to place down a green shulker box and then a green terracotta block, so it'll look like that. And then we're going to place down two dark prismarine stairs to the sides. And on the back here, we're going to place down a green shulker box right behind that one. And then a dark prismarine stair to the side there of it. Now in the corner spaces here on the back uh, between these stairs here for the corners, we're going to place down some zombie heads like that. And then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some anvils and coming off this stair right here, we're going to place down an anvil to both sides with a item frame and a green terracotta block in the item frame. And if you're on Java, we'll place a dark liquid sign on the side of the anvil as well. Same thing over here like that. And then we're going to place down a dark prismarine top side going forward and a top side going back. Same thing over here. And then we're going to place down an item frame on both sides of these slabs. So like that, and we're going to then place down a black bed in the item frames, rotated sideways. And we're going to do this for each one of these item frames. And then if, again, if you're on Java, we're going to place down a dark oak sign on the side here of the slabs with the item frames. But if you're not, on, if for all versions, we will definitely place it on the side of the slabs there. So just like this, all the way around. And that right there is going to create um, that design there. After that is done, we want to go ahead and then take our flower pots and we're going to place down one, two, three flower pots along the sides. And we're going to then place down a dark oak sign on the side here of this shulker box. After that is complete, in the middle here, we're going to place down one, two, one, two daylight detectors. And then we want to place down a row of spruce wood slabs for a total of six across. So it will look like that there on the back. And once we have that all done, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer four. And with that, we'll move into our last final layers. Moving into our final layers, we have layers five through eight. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we want to begin with by taking green carpet and we're going to place it on top of the, uh, the um, dark prismarine top slabs and the anvils there uh, for your launchers. We're going to go and then place down black candles on top of the fence gates. So you'll have to close them and then you can place them and then um, you can basically add on to them like this and then you open your fence gate back up and it works. So we're going to do this on both sides here for your smoke grenade dispensers. Then we're going to place down a flower pot here and a zombie head at a slight angle like that pointing backwards. After we have that done we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark prismarine stair here and then coming off of it on the front we're going to place down an anvil with a polished black stone top slab going back and going forward from it. On the sides here of this, the um, stair, we're gonna place down a chain, and then one, two, and three iron bars up for the radio antenna. And on the other side here, we're gonna do the same thing with just four iron bars up, like that for your antennas. We're also gonna go and take our black carpet, and we're gonna place down black carpet on top of those polished black stone top slabs. And we also wanna go ahead and grab our end rods, and we're gonna place down two end rods going forward from that polished black stone top slab. On the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oak fence post here and then a mossy cobblestone wall. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and a black bed. And we're going to place down an item frame here on the front and a black bed in the item frame like that. And we're also going to do the same thing here on this stair, an item frame and a black bed in the item frame. Um, this one here, again, if you're on Java, we can place a dark oak sign across that stair as well. 
Um, after that, though, that is going to pretty much uh, wrap up what we have for the build to try to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything appears to be good to go. So with that, we'll go ahead and call that good. That's layers 5 through 8 of the build. And that's going to include my tutorial here for the BMP2M. Uh, Zock. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do uh, use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be linked from a sound of the build, link to my channel, or this video if this does appear in social media sites. And as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to favorite projects you guys are working on. Um, with that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been here at 2F4, and I'll see you guys next time.